So in geometry, there's a thing called proofs, and a lot of times it's not enough to just say that two triangles are congruent. And what that means is if triangles are congruent, that means every corresponding side is the same length. So left side, left side, this guy would be the same length as this guy, and the bottoms would be the same length. And also, congruent triangles, you'd say that every corresponding angle is congruent. He would be congruent to him, they're corresponding, same relative position. He's corresponding to him, and this guy would be corresponding to this guy. But again, it's not enough to just say they're congruent. A lot of times they'll, they'll want you to prove why they're congruent. And this lesson is about two proofs in particular. You can prove that triangles are congruent using SSS, which means side, side, side. This side is congruent to him. He's congruent to him. He's congruent to him. Or another one is angle, side, angle. And we'll get into that one next. But first, let's discuss side, side, side. And all that is for that proof is that if you have two triangles, and they have three pairs of matching sides. So again, like this one matches him, for example. These match. Again, these are designated by single tick mark. Single tick mark. They must be congruent. Double matches double. And then down here, you could have maybe a three. So simple, slam dunk. You have this is congruent to him, obviously. He's congruent to him, and he's congruent to him. So that satisfies this SSS proof. Yes, we have three pairs of congruent sides. So these two triangles are congruent by side 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 done it sounds like the easiest thing ever invented and it kind of is to identify two triangles as being congruent using sss but i'll show you sort of like four bizarre examples where at first glance they don't totally look like they're congruent by side 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 but they are so here's the first weird example and actually we can just look at all four in one shot here so these are all cases where two triangles are congruent by side 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 even though at first glance it doesn't appear so so let's look at this first case here on the left obviously we have one pair there has to be three pairs here's one pair this side is congruent to that side as shown by these tick marks this one is congruent to him so we have two out of three we don't have a third but if you look at this third side this is this is kind of sound weird and counterintuitive it's congruent to itself so if you were to only look at the left triangle, you'd have one, two, three tick marks. And then if you only look at the right triangle, you'd have one, two, three tick marks. It is true that when two triangles share a side, that counts as a side that is congruent to another side. Because again, the left side of this triangle is congruent to the right side of that triangle. So when they share a side, that counts as one of your S's, okay? And that's kind of how the second one, this is very similar to this one here, look. This one is here. We have this side's congruent to this side. There's one S. We have this side congruent to this side. And the last one is congruent to itself. Same type of example. This one here, this la this next one is really counterintuitive and, and it's actually terrible looking. Um, so what you have is, let's look, the triangles in question are not him and him. They're this big guy and this big guy over here. And so right away you can tell that there's one side they have in common. This big triangle has this piece over here that is the same as the left side of that big one. So let's call that, we can call it four for all we care. So that's one down, one matching S. And then it looks like the top is, is congruent to this side. And the last piece we have are these big diagonals. And what's interesting is they gave us congruence in two pieces. This plus this little one tick is the same as this three tick plus this little one tick. So adding them together, this would be... This piece plus this piece must equal this piece plus this piece because the pieces are congruent. This is the worst one by far, let's be honest, but that does make sense. So these are congruent by side, side, side. This one, the last one is a square and it has no markings whatsoever. You're supposed to know something about squares to be able to prove this triangle is congruent to this triangle. And remember, for any square, all four sides are congruent. They're all the dead same. So now looking at these two triangles, we have he's congruent to him, he's congruent to him, and yes, they have a side in common down the middle, so they're congruent. So that's side, side, side. I think it's really easy if they give it to you straightforward. Here's four cases where you have to think a little bit, but it still kind of makes sense that you have three pairs of congruent sides. So let's move on to angle, side, angle. Look at that one. So this is a really simple case of angle, side, angle. And what really matters here is the order. The only thing that can throw you off when you're proving two, con two triangles to be congruent using angle side angle is it has to be literally in this order, angle, then a side, then an angle. So we have angle congruent to this angle. And actually I should designate, these should be, we can call these doubles to show that these match, but they don't match the guy above. They have different sort of tick marks. So in this case we have angle 
side angle. And this is a slam dunk, perfect example for angle side angle. What is not true is this. This is, this is what can be slightly confusing about angle side angle. This would, these would not be congruent by angle side angle. All right. At first glance, you're thinking, well, two angles in the side, two angles on the side. Hey, this is angle side angle. We're done. But they're not in order. This is angle side angle, which is good. But this is angle angle side. So these would not be congruent using angle side angle. And probably, they're probably not congruent at all. So just like the side 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 ones, there's a couple weird examples of angle side angle. So let me draw a couple and you decide if you think they are congruent by angle side angle or not. So here's one here. They'll say, is are these two triangles congruent? Um, and if so, by what? Is, are they congruent by angle side angle? And you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, these angles are congruent. They're, they're shown. They have this curve and these double tick marks, the matching tick marks. And these, you know, we've been talking about congruent lengths using tick marks, but actually if they just give you the lengths, that also works. Of course, 10 is equal to 10. So yeah, these are definitely congruent, right? Uh, they don't have to put the tick marks if they give you actual values. So these could be whatever, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. As long as they're the same length, we're done. But I don't see a third, I don't see another pair of matching angles. It's supposed to be angle side angle, and I just have angle side, angle side. There's no last angles that are congruent between the two triangles. Oh, I guess I'm done. I guess they're not. But this is a trick question because these angles here are congruent, and they're congruent by a proof you may or may not have heard of called vertical angles. Whenever you have this sort of bow tie or an X, opposite angles on that X, on that little bow tie, these are definitely congruent. So yes, now I have angle, side, angle matches my angle, side, angle. So these two triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. So that was kind of tricky. So here's another one that's a little bit weird. Right, they might give me a shape like this parallelogram and tell me nothing. They'll just say this is a parallelogram. And are these triang these triangles here congruent by angle side angle or what? And actually I would know a few things about it, right? I would know that for any parallelogram, and again, this is assumed that you know this about parallelograms, so this you might be hearing this for the first time, but in a parallelogram, these opposite angles are definitely congruent, right? I also know that these little guys are congruent here. And I also know, oh, I, better, I better show that one mark here is congruent to one and doubles to double. And I also know that these are congruent. And so couldn't I say, and, I, and it is true, that actually angle side angle is congruent to angle side angle. So yes, these two are congruent. And so sometimes proofs are annoying because you kind of have to like have some background information. What if I didn't know much about parallelograms? How could I prove this? Which is a little frustrating. And that's why we're doing this lesson to show you some of that background information. But now you know the basics of how to prove two triangles by side, 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 or how to prove two triangles congruent by angle, side, angle, and that's it. And they may try to trick you with some weird cases, but basically you got them all figured out after this video. And I think you guys will ace the section. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Good luck.